Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today I want to take you for a walk around a Wells Cargo Road Force model, 7x16 white exterior. And as shown here, it's got the contractor package on it. I don't think I've shown you guys what a contractor package consists of before. Just wanted to take a walk around this one, show you what uh, features you do get with the contractor model. So one of the things starting up front, it's going to have a triple tube tongue instead of a standard A-frame. It also has a plus 12-inch tongue. 12-inch 12 tongue comes in handy because this unit does have a V-nose. Now, it's not a hard nose. This one here is more of a soft V, but the plus 12 does make it nice. Kind of gives you the benefit of having the V, but also a long enough tongue for what, uh, what the average customer is going to need. Now, the Road Force model does come standard with screwless exterior. Uh, you'll see the sides on this. Uh, are smooth they lay flat definitely a uh, nice look also standard with a 24 inch stone guard and then all the sills on this with the road force model uh, up front and then also at the rear are gonna get uh, a, a linex type material like a truck bed liner uh, that just make it a little bit more durable than traditional frame paint so part of the contractor package also would be the three ladder racks that you see up top uh, those are one of the key features of course to the package also standard on the road force model is going to be the diamond plate fenders and then also the uh, chrome center caps give it a nice clean look this unit's also got the uh, silver wagon wheels and uh, this has the newer style forward adjusting brakes so these are a forward self-adjust throughout the life of the brake pad they self-adjust to the proper tolerance so that you've always got brakes also has a 205-75 R15 load range C, six ply radial tire standard, brakes on both axles. Also has the newer style Easy Loop hubs. So these hubs, uh, there's a, a black cap behind the uh, center cap there. You can pull it off and an average homeowner with basic hand tools can do their own bearing maintenance. So again, this is not only a screwless exterior, but it's also a little bit thicker exterior. It's an 030, uh, some use an 024, which is about 20%. Uh, less material. That's important because an 030, especially combined with screwless, generally tends to lay pretty flat, look pretty nice. Uh, whereas the screwed exterior combined with the thinner metal generally are the trailers you see going down the road that look kind of kind of warped and wavy. So as I said earlier, uh, the sills on these do have this uh, truck bed liner material here. You can kind of see a little bit better uh, what that material looks like. Just a little bit more durable. You'll notice this also has three hinges they're the wider hinge they're about 10 inches a piece also have your zerts for some extra serviceability this particular unit also has an aluminum handle you'll see instead of plastic for the door makes it nice this also has the uh, bar locks with the security style so it's going to cover um, where your bar lock mounts makes it a little bit a little bit more theft proof uh, also, clear lens, thin strip LED lights for your stop turn tails on your side and then your center markers up high. You've got some bumpers on your rear door. If you want to lay your door down, it's not going to damage it. You also notice uh, next to the, the bumpers, uh, the rear door on this is trimmed out. You actually find a fair amount of your trailers, particularly your southern built trailers. This is one of many features that seems to get left off. You've got uh, black iron exposed there. Generally, it's one of your first rust points that you have. Uh, you can lock the trailer up. You've got on your bar locks on either side spot that you can can uh, put a padlock on there let's go ahead and take a look inside the trailer let's get the bar locks just open up swing back there's a couple features on the uh, road force model that maybe aren't on the other models i believe the fast track doesn't have the ramp flap extension now this is what i call an over under hinge instead of a traditional butterfly hinge uh, it just makes it a little bit more durable, less chance of catching whenever you enter the trailer. This has your three-quarter engineered floor. It's got some resin in it. It's supposed to be uh, a little bit more waterproof uh, than, say, uh, plywood. Also got three-eighths on the walls. And then, of course, your Venos. Now, I notice there's uh, four D-rings in the corners. Those are your heavier-duty 5,000-pound uh, rated rings. That's actually the same thing it's going to be on an eight and a half foot wide car hauler. So in addition to the uh, extended tongue, there's actually a bar lock on the side door. We didn't get to that yet. That's part of the heavier duty contractor package. You're also going to get a 14 by 14 inch roof vent. Uh, 
Then uh, also on your walls, instead of a 3 8 contractor package is going to upgrade you to a 3 quarter uh, plywood wall. So you're going to pick up quite a bit of strength uh, in your walls instead of the 3 8 uh, this is an RV style door. We'll get to the outside in a second, but one thing with the RV doors, they're a solid uh, filled door, not a hollow. And then they've got the RV style lock. You can lock these from the inside via deadbolt, or you can lock them from the outside uh, with the lock there. You've got a 12 volt dome light switch by your side door. Then you've also got a dome light front and a dome light rear. Now, another feature you have on these that you don't always have, in fact, a lot of manufacturers will use a single spring assembly. This has dual spring assembly. And then on the outside of the trailer, I don't believe I mentioned uh, side flow through vents. So basically you've got a vent for intake on the front driver's side corner, and then you're gonna have cross ventilation. It's gonna exhaust out the rear passenger side bottom. That's designed for cross ventilation. Your intake's gonna be driver's side, of course, because vehicles are gonna exhaust out the passenger side. So you're gonna exhaust out the same as your truck side or vehicle side exhaust would. Uh, inside height on these is going to be 6'6". Six, six. Sometimes you're going to see 6 foot or 6'3". This gives you a little bit extra height. If you've got a lower UTV or certainly most any golf cart, uh, they'll all fit in here if you want to want to put some toys in here as well. Uh, on the roof, I want to point out this is a tubular roof bow. Uh, it used to be you'd see a lot of uh, hat post walls or Z post, I'm sorry, hat post uh, ceiling and Z post walls. This tube is fully enclosed. It's going to be a little bit stronger. And then above that, you're going to see a one-piece aluminum roof uh, instead of a steel galvalum roof. A couple benefits there. One would be, of course, it's aluminum, and it's one sheet. So one sheet of aluminum is beneficial because of certainly there's no seams and splices. The fact that it's aluminum material makes it a little bit lighter. Uh, also, aluminum is going to reflect uh, the heat, stay a lot cooler inside, we find. So again, one-piece aluminum roof is standard. Some folks are curious as to what the dimensions are as far as through your door. So the trailer is called a seven foot wide. So to be clear, that's going to be outside box measurement. Uh, your wall post thickness and then with your three quarter walls, you're going to lose about two inches a side. So inside wall to wall is going to be about six, eight. Another measurement a lot of folks need is the what is the width between the door. So your corner post is going to be about four inches, and then your spring cable comes in about an inch. So you're going to lose about five inches per side. Going to be roughly six foot two uh, side to side. And then we said it was six six inside. Your rear door header is going to be about six inches. It's going to net you out about six foot uh, height through the door. Again, we find golf carts normally to be about five six. Normally, your UTVs are anywhere from about 5.9 to 6.5, give or take, depending on what you got. You know, like this is going to weigh in at about 2,500 pounds. These normally run about 23, give or take, but with the uh, thicker plywood and some of the options, kind of get up around 2,500. Net legal payload, 7,000 pound GVW minus the 25 empty. It's going to give you about 4,500 pounds that you can put inside. Technically, if you ever got DOT'd or scaled, uh, you're going to pick up some tongue weight truck side, normally about 15% additional weight uh, you're going to get to the uh, to the truck itself. Other colors are available. Again, shown here, this is white exterior. We'll also do black, silver, charcoal, and pewter. are all available colors. Also different lengths. This is a 16. We often stock this in a 14 foot as well. And we said this was the Vino's model. Uh, this is also available in a flat front round top. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220. Or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.